Do you want a coffee or anything? I mean, I don't know if your place is around here and the size of the body. Oh no, I know a perfect place. Their mockers are to die for. <laughs> I suppose so, if, if you're right with that, then lead the way. Yeah, cool. Is this one here okay? And it was a mocky one, it wasn't it? Uh, yes, please. Uh, could you get some oat milk? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. You wait here, I'll be back in a sec. very soppy, loved up story of how you two met. <laughs> no, no, I really don't, I swear. Go on, go on, you can tell me. Oh, so, basically, I was slaving away at Astro Cat, and I was already having a bad day, because, I mean, who can ever be in a good mood in that environment? And as you'll find out, I wasn't the only one having a bad day. One of the big fish asked me to make a coffee for him, which I obliged, and I made it perfectly, actually. It was all going swimmingly well, until... I went to take it up to his throne and I tripped. Yeah, you heard me. I tripped. Oh I sent that drink over a six figure man. I was fired instantly. Dragged me out when I tried to feed my case as well. So, how does Killian tie into all of this? <laughs> he was one of the security guards that dragged me out. I bumped into him in a bar the next week and he came over to me and it went from there really. Went from there. How cute. Anyway, enough about me. How come you're in this situation, Lucas? It's a long one. I'm not even sure where to start. You see, I envy people who have a good relationship with their parents. For me, I had a very strained relationship with my father. Very old fashioned way of seeing things, you see. Man provides woman, woman cleans for man. Very old fashioned. That's where things went wrong. I was 18 and I just got my first boyfriend. Chiseled to the bone. Well, I'll see you pulled a big time in that. Exactly. I try my best to keep it from my father. He's also frowning around in awful, awful words. Puff, fag, knob jockey. <laughs> Did you just say knob jockey? What on earth is that? So, it's like, imagine a horse jockey, yeah? Got the image. I do, I do. Now, swap the horse for a man. Wow. <laughs> That's a tad bit offensive, isn't it? Exactly. Imagine you're hearing those words all the time when you're watching something like Brink's Got Talent on TV. You know, if there's a dancer or just a man singing a slow song on the screen. God, he sounds like a right dick. Yep, you bet. But of course, uh, you can't hide something forever because not only it degrades you, but it degrades the other. And so I had to tell him. And what did he say? Did, did he disown you? Well, Yep, he disowned me and burnt my stuff faster than you could say Usain Bolt. <laughs> so I was forced to move in with Zeus and for months it was like heaven. Romantic films, roses in the bar, <laughs> dates, it was wonderful. Until one day we're laying there and his phone dings with a person named Pizza Hut. Right. This is where does Pizza Hut ever ask if you're alone with an eggplant emoji next to it? Wait, so, so he cheated on you? Yep, with whoever the fuck Pizza Hut is. Pizza Hut? Really? Yeah. Pizza Hut, that fuck. 
there was the obviously uh, I found out, and you can imagine how that went. He kicked me out, and I was forced to couch surf for a few weeks. But there's only so much you can do before you lose your connections and you're out on the street. So you've mentioned a lot about your dad. What about your mum? Never knew her. I was born and uh, poof, gone with the wind. I guess that's why he's got his incredibly misogynistic ways. I get it. Racist mum over here. Why would they ever get out of their old ways? Oh my god. We barely touched our drinks, they've gone stone cold. Yeah. I don't want to keep you much longer either, so should we just uh, nick them and leave? Shall we? Yeah, we shall. Oh, that is not as good as I remember. I can't, I can't drink that. <laughs> well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> well, would you call me a beggar? Um, no. Yeah, maybe. No, you didn't beg for this coffee, so no. So that gives me the right to choose? You're getting really philosophical. It's hurting my brain. Sorry. But do you understand what I'm saying? These people... They don't mean no harm, but they give me cheese sandwiches, but it'll, it'll mess up my insides. While I may be a beggar, I have to choose. What a dilemma. But anyway, I must be going. Well, where are you going to go now, then? Not sure, really. Probably find somewhere to hunker down, I guess. We can't be having that. Come stay on my sofa. Are you sure? I mean, how is Killian going to? I'll make it okay. Don't worry. Alright, lead the way.